Well, good afternoon, team in Michigan. It's Monday, and it's also the day of the total solar eclipse, like we just saw Chris mentioning. And if you're heading out to watch that phenomenal event, remember to be safe and also just prepare for some hot and humid weather. Let's take a look at your first one five pinpoint Doppler radar at MBS Live in 3D. We're across the region. It's hot and humid, and we are seeing some high thin clouds move across the region, but at least it's dry. We're not seeing any rain on the radar. We have a slight chance later this afternoon, but most of us all the way through the eclipse day on Monday will be dry. Let's take you outside and show you around to a couple different locations. We'll stop first in Saginaw where it's 84 degrees and I have to point this out. We actually have a heat index in effect for today. It feels more like 87 when you factor in some of that humidity. Dew points are high in the upper 60s, so it's feeling pretty sticky out there. Let's take you out to our next stop. That's going to be out in Bay City where it's 81 degrees and it looks a little bit cloudy, but that's just some of those thin clouds. We will have some filtered sunshine coming through and our last stop is going to take us out to Flint where it's currently 84 degrees, a little bit more in the way of some sunshine out there on I-75 looking like nice conditions if you are heading out to watch the solar eclipse. Let's take you out and show you what we're looking at in regards to our first one five sky tracker because here it is. Most of us are dry and partially sunny across the region. We are seeing some high thin clouds moving in over the region and as we head into the afternoon we are going to see more cumulus clouds or some of those low puffy clouds beginning to pop up dotting the map. Now that could obscure some of the eclipse. I think we'll still have a fair chance at viewing that, but here it is. Right around 101 is when that eclipse will start, so a little less than an hour. As we head towards 224, that's when we'll reach maximum with about 81% of the sun eclipsed, and then that will come to an end closer to around 344 this evening. Temperatures will be in the upper 80s, and again, we are going to have variable clouds. Most of them will be those high, thin clouds, so I still think we'll be able to see the eclipse through those. It will just be a little bit on the filtered side. Here's your first one, five hour by hour forecast. We'll plan out that eclipse for you. Start Starting about 1 o'clock notice, most of the region is still clear, just dealing with those high thin clouds. As we progress closer to around 2 o'clock or 2.30, right around the time of maximum, notice in the Tri-Cities were mostly clear, but if you head a little farther to the south, closer to Owasso and Alma, you're seeing some more of those puffy lower clouds coming in that could obscure some of the eclipse, and then that really starts to increase closer to around 3 or 3.30, with more of that moving to the north, right around the time that the eclipse comes to an end. So most of us will have a decent shot at viewing that. Again, just expect thin clouds. That that may obscure it a little bit, but overall we should have a nice viewing of that eclipse. As we head into the later half of the evening though, right around 6 o'clock, those clouds fill in. We'll see a slight chance for a few isolated thunderstorms, mostly to our south. A better chance for rain and thunderstorms though does come overnight closer to around 11 o'clock. That will carry over into the overnight time frame. And for the start of our day on Tuesday, where it will definitely be more cloudy, that slight chance for showers and thunderstorms during the first half of the day. Temps right now have most of us in about the middle 80s. It's 84 degrees right now in Bay City. 84 in Midland and 84 in Flint as well. That's actually going to increase though. Here's a look at your future feels like temperatures. We're going to have a heat index climbing into the lower 90s for most of the region. So if you are going to be out viewing that eclipse, just realize it is going to feel hotter than it actually is. It's a good idea to have water on hand for today. So let's take you out and show you for today a high of about 87 degrees with sun and clouds, hot and humid. With that isolated chance for thunderstorms later in the evening. For tonight though, we see that chance for showers and storms increase mostly late after around 11 o'clock or so with a low of about 69 degrees. So your first one five seven day forecast. Today's the day of the eclipse. Variable clouds. Most of us should have a decent chance at seeing that it will be cooler for tomorrow. 78 degrees with showers and thunderstorms. The rest of the week takes a cooler turn thanks to the cold front coming in tomorrow. But at least we'll have mostly to partly cloudy skies Wednesday all the way through Saturday. Good deal.